So this is what you call fisheye. For anybody who's never seen it before, this is fisheye. You can see it right here. You can see it right here in the wood. You can see that's fisheye, okay? These doors, they brought them in for uh, to cut out the center panels. And then we did a color match on the inside edge. Didn't have any issues. And then when I flipped them, I scuffed the doors to reshoot them, cleaned them and everything, but there was still some contamination here. You really don't have to worry about it, okay, guys? It's, it's not that big of a deal. The main thing is, is when you sand it back out, if you can see, there's still, it's still a little bit there. The main thing is, is when you sand it back out, it's gotta be 100% back flat to the original. And right here, you can see one little spot right there where it's still not all the way down. That'll pop back up as a fisheye, okay? So you gotta get that down where it actually scratches into that area. The second thing is, is that you have to be careful not to burn through the original finish because then you're gonna have to do some stain repair. So you have to go through and you have to sand this out very carefully, very smoothly to flatten it back out but then at the same time, you don't want to go all the way through the sealer and burn into the finish because then you're going to have issues. Now, for me, I don't really care. If it does happen, we'll fix it. we got the stain already made. It's not that big a deal, but I don't want to. So I'm going to be a little careful when I'm sanding it. I'm going to sand it smooth, sand it flat. I'll do a, uh, we'll do a, uh, a clean uh, with a solvent cleaner that I use. That's not going to burn into the finish, but it's going to clean it. And then after that, I'll do a seal coat and a clear coat and it should eliminate it 100%. So let me sand on this a little bit and then I'm gonna pause the video and then I'll come back and then I'll show you exactly what it looks like when it's done. And there's the door resprayed, all the fish eye is gone. No issues whatsoever. We'll let it dry for a little bit and then I'll show you a picture of what it looks like when it's all dried out. And, and as you can see here, now that it's dried back, you can see how nice and clean it looks. No fish eye, all smooth, repairs done. I mean, in all honesty, it took me probably about maybe 10 minutes to fix that fish eye repair. You guys don't have to worry about it if it happens. It's just a matter of just a couple little processes to fix it. Don't freak out. It's something that can be fixed pretty easily. So again, this is how you fix uh, fish eye repair. If you guys have any questions you want to ask me, my process and the procedure and the and the materials that I use, just hit me up and uh, we can talk about it.